Usually, you get the Mickey Mutineers podcast where we talk everything Disney, but sometimes... You get the Mutineer Disaster Hour where we talk everything else. It's like Duck Duck Goose, the shitty podcast. Hi, guys. Hi, Jake. <laughs> Hi, all you cool cats and kittens. Remember that? Yeah, oh, I, I wish I could forget. <laughs> those, those were the days. Remember how yeah, Tiger King was just, like 10 years ago? Just like just like uh, Carol's ex-husband. <laughs> oh, Carol. What? That he, bitch, he, Carol he's, de- he's, he's dead. <laughs> he dead. Yeah, he is. What's the matter? I say you, he dead. <laughs> 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 the Colonel! I think he's talking to you. <laughs> Those are different references, but I thought it was a good time to just <laughs> jump in there with that one. So, guys, I have some news right off the bat. Apparently, Tim is not the Mickey Mutineers cicada, and he does show up more than once every five years. Damn it. Uh. You fucked up, Tim. <laughs> ah, surprise! <laughs> I was so surprised. Were you surprised? I was surprised. <laughs> Shit. And that, 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 that's my news for the day. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Ah, that was a slow two weeks. <laughs> so, uh, we're done? <laughs> Adios, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Tim does finish every episode. But that, that guys, that was a fake. That was a fake finish. Let's let's not let's not think that was real. That was because it wasn't. <laughs> let's not think that was real. It oh. was premature. Premature. <laughs> guys, I had this problem. I, I tend to finish early the, the show. The, I tend to finish the show early. And that uh. one just got away from me. Oh, so I, anyway, I ejaculated I mean, quickly. What were you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Josh yeah. has the same problem. <laughs> Wait, how do you know that? I told you. You did. Why, why are you getting up with my business here? Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Guys, I have something to tell you. <laughs> what? I, I've been drunk for the last like six or seven years. No, you haven't. Well, I mean, not today <laughs> or yesterday. <laughs> or, 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 well, I've been sober now for, uh, hold on, hold on. I think it's, uh, <laughs> Joe, poor Joe. I, I got an app for that. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome, welcome to the, to uh, the edging session, Joser. <laughs> yeah. 37 days. 37 yeah, yeah. days. Uh, g- yeah, let's uh, on the count of three. Let's g- give Josh a hip hip yeah. One, two, Mickey three. Engineers. Hip 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 yeah. Ha! No, Jordan, it was a. Well, oh, sorry, I fucked it up, guys. <laughs> well, let's do it over. Drink. All right, well, let's do it over again. All right, ready? One, two, three. Yep, hip, yep, hip, yep, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, we did it. <laughs> Josh didn't do it though. <laughs> I, I didn't get uh, a hip I, hip I, yeah I, out of that guy. <laughs> Hip hip yeah. <laughs> there you go. Harumph. <laughs> I like the harumph. Everybody likes a harumph. <laughs> hey, uh, first things first. Second piece Josh. Thing. What? How do you feel? Uh, okay. Ha! Psych! You got the flu. Just now. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> wait, wait, for me. I, I don't think that's how that works. Yeah. I, <laughs> I just say it and it happens. <laughs> She's like, no, thank like you. You just like throwing glitter at somebody. You just go with the flu. <laughs> Wait, did Josh just say no? Thank you. Can can he do that? Can he know I thank you the flu? Yeah, yeah. I like just you did. start to get sick and you just go no thank you and it just goes <laughs> no, away. That's what I did during COVID. <laughs> just no thank you. I'm feeling sick. No thank you. <laughs> oh okay. Well sorry sorry sir. I didn't mean the to. The virus uh, is like ah shit. Don't make you. 
<laughs> Jesus is my vaccine? Oh, no, sir. No, thank you is my vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Legally, a virus cannot invade your body without consent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. The exception on, I- on the iPhone? Guess what you're accepting? <laughs> <laughs> I've never read yeah, the entire you, user agreement. Y- yeah, you gotta read end. those terms, those terms and conditions, buddy. <laughs> it's like at the very end, it's like, and you get COVID. Ah. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> Wait, am I the only one here that's had it? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I've had it. No, you no. There's no pretty sure, sir. You would no, know. I, I, I'm fairly certain I had it before we even knew what the fuck it was. Josh is like, I had it three years ago. <laughs> I, I was the first one to have it. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> no, no. Um, right before COVID, the COVID shit started coming out in China. Um, you know, I work at an airport and we have vendors that come around the airport and work with different things. From China. A guy, a guy just came off a plane that came from China, got really fucking sick and got everybody in the office sick, basically. So, with a mystery virus. It was a mystery virus. Mm. How, how did we get into this line of talk? I don't know. I don't know. All because it, I gave it, Josh the flu. Oh, <laughs> no, thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks. Jordan beat me to it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but, Cassie's you know, here. Hi, okay. Cassie. <laughs> As we are collecting hosts like Infinity. We, I don't know. I feel like it's more like a, an Infinity turn style i, I want to be the blue one uh no i'm the blue one sorry i called no, it i'll be the green one nope i was also I the green one, one. <laughs> no thank you <laughs> <laughs> guys we've got a serious <laughs> legal loophole here and i'm gonna exploit the shit out of it <laughs> it's, it's like the fucking it's like the you know, reverse card <laughs> You pay for McDonald's, that'll be five fifty. You, you know what? No, thank you. You know what's funny? Fuck, <laughs> uh, well, here's your food. <laughs> so, what's, what's funny, Josh? <laughs> my tw- my eleven year old told me I should have had a window reverse card in my pocket when I got arrested. Mm. <laughs> I think we covered no, that you. already. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Yeah, didn't we cover that on the show already? Yeah, yeah, I think we did. <laughs> and this time, you can't blame it on being drunk. No, I, the, 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 that's just being forgetful. <laughs> and I'm Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Who let all these people in my room? <laughs> what well, the fuck is a podcast? <laughs> see, that's Jordan. He's the blue and green infinity stone. And that's Tim. I, I'm going to call Tim the gauntlet itself. Tim, Tim is the glove that holds us together. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I hate to tell you guys what I do with gloves. <laughs> Josh is that. So, so, uh, so if, you, if, you take, if you take a, a glove, a rubber glove, and roll it up just right in the shop towel, like the glove's got to hang out just a little bit, get the shop towel nice and thick, and then you just pull the glove over the shop towel the rest of the way. Here, I, I, I'm at work. I should go get a rubber glove and a shop towel. And show I was you like, guys. I need, I need some visuals here. <laughs> also, <laughs> while you do that, if you take a Pringles can, put two sponges in it, stretch a rubber glove over the top. Yeah, th- same concept. Yeah, it's a homemade flashlight. Yeah, yeah, but only like three dollars instead of seventy five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jake's super lonely. <laughs> no, no, I have Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> and sponges. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> no, thank you. His, his Pringles are in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want to contaminate those. What is happening here? We are not. We are a family show. And Jordan. <laughs> uh, no thank you no. <laughs> oh sorry sir you are under contract what joe has no idea what he's gotten himself into <laughs> or, i was out there or, this th- <laughs> or he's fur- furiously taking notes <laughs> which is it joe please say no thank you <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll, 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 we'll come back to Joe in a second. <laughs> okay, first things first. Second thing, second. Get... And then at the end? Third thing, third. <laughs> 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 Bingo! Number, hey, and, I saw a number film. Four, profit. <laughs> yes, I saw a film too. I saw two films the last couple of days. I saw one film. Tim, did you see films? I I saw Nope. That's a good film. I haven't seen that yet. It's pretty good. It's that's a film we like. We can't even talk about. Like we can't say anything about. <laughs> Just go see Nope. It's fantastic. And that's, I want to, but they all die at the end. You can't say that. I'm just joking. I is don't. he is he correct? I don't know. <laughs> I hear sorry, I hear a cricket in this closet. <laughs> <I'm driving nuts. laughs> he just keeps wandering around. Is that like a crumpet? <laughs> crumpet? You gotta understand what a cr- <laughs> <laughs> mm. Ninja Turtle. <laughs> this person, WTF is going on here? I only know the dude in the upper right, so I'm guessing everyone else is legit dudes. We are legit. Yeah. I only know the dude in the <laughs> upper right, too. <laughs> Wait, what? I was raised by the other two, but <laughs> I don't claim that. <laughs> hey, Joe's back. <laughs> Wasn't expecting straights to be talking about making flashlights out of leftover food packaging. I don't understand... Leftover? No, my Pringles are still here. They're in a baggie. <laughs> <laughs> These are concurrent situations, sir. <laughs> but I'm loving this audience participation. Thanks for yeah, being yeah, your friends, no, Jordan. It's it, 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 speaking of which, I, I just got a I, I, I cut out my uh satanic temple meeting to come in early to come here. <laughs> Wait, you laughed through that. You got out of your what? My satanic temple meeting. Oh, how'd that go? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it's good. I really like it. It's, uh, the satanic temple sober faction. It's an uh, alternative to uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. And Josh owns five demons now. He's almost caught up to me. <laughs> no. They don't believe in demons. I do. The, yeah, the they're, demonic they're, temple they're, <laughs> they're, they're, oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're the shock jocks of. I don't everything. believe I have a demonic temple here in Southern Utah. I should start. Did one. Josh just say shock jock? Yeah, I think it's just called yeah. church. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about Josh's shock jock. I was like, what are they doing at this meeting of yours? <laughs> it's this underwear yeah, that plugs yeah, into I, the wall. I, 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 yeah. They're like, they're like, now we're this. And when he goes to reach for a beverage, they shock his jock. <laughs> That's wildly effective. That's where I went oh, in my yeah. head. I, I, I would be reaching for a beverage constantly. <laughs> Zap. Zap. It's good to feel. It's good to feel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a glutton for punishment. That's why I'm here every other week. <laughs> so we haven't told him that it's weekly? Just kidding. No, it's every other week. <laughs> Everyone just looked really surprised. I was wondering why I was the only one showing up the every every other week. <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, back to movies. T- Tim, did you see Prey? The Predator one. Yes. Parts of it. But how do you see parts of it? Well, it was late and I was going like this and... I thought he was about to say he saw the trailer. <laughs> I saw parts of it. I watched the trailer. I woke up right when he killed the wolf. That was awesome. That's towards the beginning. So I was like, wait, you can't say that. But... <laughs> wait. <laughs> there Spoiler are many... alert. Predator kills things in this movie. <laughs> Joe says, there are many that would be into electro play like that. Oh, sir, there are many that are into electro. <laughs> you know what? Let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's stop talking about this. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, thank you. Let me start no, by saying you. the the only Predator movies that I've seen are the 2010 Predator movie, Aliens vs Predator, and To Catch a Predator. And that one it was like, <laughs> I feel like one of those things isn't like the other. Yeah, Alien vs <laughs> Predator was super weird in the Antarctica of all places. Come on, total rip off of the thing. Wait, so you've not seen the original Predator film? Dude, I, I, I rewatched that no. after after I finished Prey. 
Um, it's it's fucking awful. <laughs> I, I I agree with with Bearcat Davy over here. It's uh, I think this is the best Predator since the original one. Jake, just, you I'm all right? Listen, saying, I'm just saying the original was fucking awful. The, what? <laughs> I love the original. The original Get the was job great. Up. When, when, when was the last time you guys watched the original? I watched it two days. Never. Ago. <laughs> we know that. I, I haven't watched it in a minute, but I'm kind of jazzed to go back and and watch it now that I've seen Prey. Oh, all of them are on Hulu, by the way. Oh, okay. even Alien vs. Predator. Uh, Jake, well, will you all the shut it with I Aliens vs. Uh, Predator? I don't know if any of the AVPs are there. No, oh, you said all of them. Anyway, Jordan, what were you trying to tell me? Uh, nothing. You know what? No, thanks. Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so anyway. Hey, uh, it, um, oh, go ahead. Sorry. It, unanimously, it is a fantastic movie. The best that people say the best since the original, in my opinion, the best that I've seen since I haven't seen the original. So you've seen Predators. Yes. You've seen AVP. The first one. And you've seen Prey. Yes. I really like Predator 2. I uh, So I like Predator 2 if, for anything, that last scene whenever he's on the spaceship. And he gets a gun? Yeah. Oh, spoiler <laughs> alert if you haven't seen it, folks. Whoa. He gets yeah. A gun. It's been longer than two weeks for uh, Predator 2. So. <laughs> Don't spoil 30-year-old movies. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start that podcast. <laughs> So, so the other movie I watched this week was uh, um, Uncharted. I haven't watched that one yet. The it games are fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, well, that's why I was excited to watch it. But I guess they tried to make an Uncharted movie some years ago, and it was terrible. I don't know. That's just what I heard. But anyways, this one was it was pretty good. I had my issues with it. That that Tom Holland was just playing Spider Man. Yep. <laughs> but he's a great Spider Man. He's yeah. not a great Nathan Drake though. Oh, there was a there was an online petition to try to get uh, what's his face Nathan uh, Fillion Nathan Fillion to be, which I thought at the time would have been fantastic, but I think they they waited too long to get the ball rolling on an Uncharted film. Yeah. <laughs> He's he's what? How old is he now? Like 50, 60? I don't know. Yeah, he's got to be closer to to fifty than forty, I would think. He would not be jumping on walls and stuff. Right, <laughs> my back. <laughs> no, that was an ibuprofen. <laughs> but no, earlier he would have been perfect for it. Yeah. I, I saw a TikTok today saying how um, Uncharted 51. was actually in development hell for a long time, and Mark Wahlberg was originally cast as Nathan Drake. Yeah, that was. Yep. <laughs> and so they just reused him as the old guy. Sully. <laughs> yeah, like ten years went by, and they're like, "Shit, he's too old, <laughs> too old to complete the training." Too old to complete the training. Well, that was a good Yoda. Hold on, Jordan. Can you do a good Yoda? I maybe. I guess. This whole time, this whole Ooh. time, we could have had fake guests. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 no, no, thank you. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, someone answer me. What was that? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, yep. Sorry, I forgot to mute my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and you no, were here, our tech guy. <laughs> Man, if I titled these episodes, this one would definitely be called. Tim fucks up and forgets to mute his phone. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> Not about to start now. Um, I have a question for Tim and Josh and possibly Jordan. <laughs> so how about everybody? Just, just, well, here's the I thing. Mean, just ask the room, Jake. Well, circling back to the Predator, I remember when I was – right, Jordan chimed in. Or not Jordan. <laughs> Joe. Just pretend Frank Oz has his hand up your backside. Now who's being obscene, Joe? Now who's being obscene? I do that every day. You, you have Frank Oz's hand up your backside? Why not? Uh, all right. Uh, is he I, gentle? You know what? I can't fucking argue with that. I bet he has soft hands. He needs to trim his fingernails. <laughs> oh, that's rule number one. 
I've read waka books. Waka <laughs> waka. Waka That was awesome. So what's your question? I'm dying oh, okay. to hear it. Circling back to Predator, when we were really little, like, I remember every time around Halloween, there was a store that had, like, really good quality, intricate Halloween masks, and one of them was the Predator head. Spencer's. Mm-hmm. Was it Spencer's? Yeah. That, yeah, that was my I question. Got, uh, what the hell store was this? I, I got a pretty good uh, Batman cowl from, I think, the second movie. Yeah, I did. The, that's, that, that's why I said, like, maybe Jordan, because maybe Jordan went to a store like this when he was little, too. But I just remember there was a store where I... Re- but do you guys remember that Predator mask always up on the top rack? Yeah, that mm-hmm. it was right next to the dragon one. Yeah, yeah, it was. So, fun fact, do you know... The Spencer's own Spirit Halloween. I was going somewhere with this. I didn't know. They did? That doesn't really oh, surprise do. me. Yeah, they do. Huh. Which <laughs> their their masks have gone downhill. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> they they are no longer producing those quality predator masks right next to the dragon mask. That being said, guys, I saw the sign up for my local spirit Halloween and I am super excited. Yeah, speaking of which, what's what's up with like people photoshopping the spirit ha- Halloween shit over Disney attractions? It's so weird. What? What attractions? The, uh, the last one I saw was the uh, Little Mermaid live action show at Hollywood Studios. What they is do? It cl- is it closed? Uh, photoshopping the spirit Halloween sign over it. Oh, I mean the joke yeah. being that spirit Halloween opens in closed places. But oh, okay, all right. Like I, I would, I would accept if that was like in front of the Wonders of Life Pavilion, which I'm sure it has to exist somewhere. Like that photo definitely exists. I thought that was coming back. Not as Wonders of Life. It's coming back as a play pavilion. But we went through well, a two-year I mean, period where you're not allowed to play with anyone or anything. Oh yeah, <laughs> except yeah. for yourself. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't stop. Uh, <laughs> hey, before and, we go back and, down that road, and, and a Pringles can. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's that dude's mustache on the front. I don't know. It's just something about. Anyway, hey Jordan, <laughs> you played a game. I uh, I did. Did I play? Oh yeah, I played Stray. So, oh yeah, uh, how PlayStation is it? Five. It's fun. I mean, you just uh, you're a little kitty cat. You're running around a city, and there's a dedicated button for meowing, which is pretty goddamn adorable. Uh, and whenever you, there's certain spots, whenever you go inside, uh, houses or apartments, uh, if you stop on a rug, your little L and R triggers, uh, pop up. And if you start hitting them, you'll start scratching the carpet. (laughs) 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 And then, uh, you could do the same thing on walls. So like, you can like stretch and stand on your hind legs and then scratch, uh, and then scratch the wall. But the, the premise of the game is you're, you're this little kitty cat. And you're hanging out with all your kitty cat friends and you're just walking. And then all of a sudden you fall into no. you're like on the like, I guess you're on what would appear to be the, the surface or the outside uh, of, of just this city. And then as you're walking, you fall and you you go to like this almost underground slum. And then as you're walking around, you meet a little robot, kind of like Lola from the Obi-Wan show. I forget what this little robot's called, but it's kind of the same concept. But you you meet this little robot who gives you a vest that he can latch onto. So he kind of has like you're a cat with this little tiny droid on on its back. And the droid is the one that will translate all of the writing for you. But for some <laughs> reason, the cat understands the robot. <laughs> the cat's like, all right, meow, I guess. And then he just goes <laughs> and just does does fucking cat things. But <laughs> The uh, it, it's it's a 3D platformer, so it's you're just kind of like hopping from from place to place, and then they're not necessarily rats, but they're like these little robotic mice-like creatures that will start to gang up on you. So there is uh, a threat of the game. You're, so you're not just like wandering around aimlessly. Can you die? You can. Like you can get overwhelmed by all the my- robotic mice jumping on you. Um. And then you'll have to respawn from your last save spot. But whenever you're sitting around, like, like if there's something on a ledge, you could just go up to it and go. 
Fuck. Knock it off the side of a building. So, <laughs> Jake, you had a question? I was just going to ask if you have nine lives. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if I have nine, but uh, I've I've died at least twice. Also, the way you just described this game sound like a like a seven year old cat lover who created this game. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're a cat, and then and then and then there's a robot, and it attaches to your back, and then and then the robot like talks to you, and like, first of all, let me just say, none of this is a complaint, <laughs> right? And as you're going, so as you're going through, like the inhabitants of this underground like slum area. They're all robots. Like, there's no people. It's all just bigger robots. And your tiny robot... <laughs> robots all the way down. Yeah, and your, your uh, tiny robot is piecing together memories to try to figure out where he was or what, you know, what, you know, what his purpose was or, or whatever. So you're just this fucking cat just hanging around this, hanging around this subterranean town. And you're trying to get back to the surface. So. Have you, have you beat the game? No, not yet. It's not very long, so I'm trying to not blow through it really quickly. Buddy, I just want to tell you that you did that same thing with the Untitled Goose game, and I'm pretty sure you never beat it. Still haven't touched it in like two years. <laughs> it's fantastic. That's, that's, a, like, that's a great game. I have, to, I have to beat it quick because the hard copy doesn't come out until next month. And if I signed up for a month of PlayStation Plus, it was already available on PlayStation Plus to play. So I was like, I couldn't wait. So I, I decided to just spend the $15 on a month of play, PS Plus. So I'm probably about halfway through the game right now. So are you going to like hurry up and beat it and then cancel your PS Plus? I've already canceled my, my PlayStation Plus. It's good through the 20th. So I have like another 10 days. But uh, if I don't finish it in 10 days, then I feel like I've played enough to where it'll hold me off until I beat it or until the hard copy comes out so I can beat it. But uh, it's just I want to buy the hard copy of the game. One, because I just I, I don't like digital copies. But two, um, I feel like that's just such a, a weird and interesting idea for a video game. And it's oddly successful. Like if you if you just went into a triple A game uh, developer and go, I want to make a game about a cat. <laughs> They'd be like, fucking leave. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so I just opened up the Steam store and Stray was right on the front page. I just wanted to look at the reviews real fast on this. It's um, been getting fantastic reviews. Uh, yeah. Overwhelmingly positive on yes. Steam. 62,000 positive reviews. Mm, I see what you did there. So <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Positive. But I'm positive, but I, I like this review right here. Right here. Jordan, did you write this review? Because all it says is "game where I can be a cat." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not to your knowledge. Uh, <laughs> yes, I found this helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, wait! I got on here to see how much it is because I have not played this, and you've kind of sold me on it. Hold on, are you in the pockets of Big Stray? That's what the city is called. I gotta go. <laughs> no, get back! Ah! What? <laughs> Your contract is still in session forever. Sorry. You said no, thank you. No, he <laughs> he signed the contract. Did I? I signed his name on the contract. <laughs> That's legal, right? Look, Buddy, I, you can do anything once. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I've signed all your names on contracts. At least once. <laughs> At least once. Uh, Josh, Josh bought me a car. That was cool. He doesn't know it yet, but he did. So that's neat. <laughs> anyway, Josh, expect a bill. <laughs> oh, look, thumbs up. Hey, <laughs> thumbs up does not mean no thank you. Uh, but no, Stray, it's been really fun. And I kind of want to play again tonight, but uh, I'm also going to have to go to bed pretty early. <laughs> I want to play again tonight, but I'm here on this. Yeah. The show, entertaining. Uh, oh, you didn't say meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> meow. Yeah. My, plus, my PlayStation is downstairs. Mm. I don't know how you'll ever get down there. Take like a this. sled. 
Jordan has an elevator. I didn't know about this. Josh, are you eating Pringles? Is that, is that my bag of Pringles? <laughs> He's like, they're a little salty. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> that's you that's that fucking far. nasty. <laughs> he says, "Stop he eating them." <laughs> <laughs> and guys, I'm pretty sure, like every clip in my mind as we go through this, I'm like, "Oh, that'd be a funny TikTok right there." No, that goes against the user agreement. No, that goes against the <laughs> user agreement. So, but Twitch and YouTube does not care, nor does Podbean. Jordan, what are you holding behind your head? I have a book. So we talked Prey. We talked Stray. Now we're the last Ronin? That doesn't rhyme oh. at all. Robert De Niro was in that movie. I think that was just called Ronin. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this, is the, this is a few movies after that, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Can, can, can there, was, was in there was the next Ronin. Then there was the third Ronin. And then they decided to wrap it up with the fourth one called The Last Ronin. <laughs> no, and, and the the one the, the thirty seven Ronin. Oh, that's right. God, they made thirty seven uh, of them. Uh, uh-huh. Thirty eight, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. No Ronin. How many Ronins do we have running around? <laughs> At least thirty eight. <laughs> and then the, and then there's the Ronin in uh, Avengers. He, yeah, there's but the Ronin he... Warriors. There's too many Ronins. What's this last one about? Uh, this last one is about the Ninja Turtles. I did not see that coming. Yeah, no, this is a. Uh, I, I picked this up because a, a friend of mine. Wait, hold on. Is that hardcover? Story? It is. Wow. Oh, hold on. Someone's knocking on my door. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's the other 37 mm-hmm. Ronins. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Don't, don't answer that. I didn't hear him at all. <laughs> They're very sneaky. <laughs> Uh, no, but there's only one surviving Ninja Turtle, and he's honoring his family's legacy. So it's set in a post-apocalyptic New York, uh, and the the Hamato clan is. Uh, I saw is this clip. Still, still feuding with the Oroku clan. So Oroku Saki. Yeah. Josh has a question. Yes. If it's the last Ninja Turtles in the family, how the fuck were they breeding? What? What? Is it like one of the original four, or were they breeding? Yeah, it's it's the last Ninja Turtle. It's the, so, it's the okay. last of the four brothers. It looked like it was Raphael. Okay, okay you yeah. say it weird. So <laughs> it's, it's the last of the four brothers, uh, but as the story progresses, there's flashbacks. So you see... Uh, how each of the turtles gets killed off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> and, that's but, but but how it contributes to the remaining turtles, like trauma and PTSD. Oh shit! Giant chopsticks. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> people people looking for you know to make turtle soup. Josh got it. <laughs> I don't know how one eats turtle soup. With chopsticks. W- oh. w- with, with a built-in bowl. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> now no, it's sad again. <laughs> we went from curious to sad twice. <laughs> Jordan, is it a good book? Did you no, finish it's really that? good. I, I, yeah, I finished it last night, and it's it's pretty fucking brutal. Like, <laughs> like the way, the way that, that the, the turtles get offed, like Jesus, whoa! Just did it. It's not on Steam. What, Josh? Jesus killed the turtles. <laughs> Twist ending. <laughs> zombie, zombie Jesus. Jesus came back, and he's angry <laughs> against. We have these freaking turtles. <laughs> Turns out he's not a fan of mutagen. <laughs> I, I I can't riff off of that. <laughs> Passion of the Christ too. But the there return. there was some stuff in here that I didn't quite understand only because the comic book lore of Ninja Turtles is like way different from the cartoon lore. Uh-huh. And the cart the comic book lore went a little bit harder. Like it was a little bit more violent. 
Yeah, it's a little um, dark. So um, there were there were some things. There's some characters that have different backstories in the comics than they did in the cartoon, and I had to go back and I guess refresh myself on some of the characters' backstories that uh, from the comic lore. Mm-hmm. But I got. I mean, I picked this up on Amazon for like twenty bucks, and it was worth. 20 bucks is worth the read. Uh, and I don't want to spoil who the last Ninja Turtle is for you. So I'll, I'll leave yeah. that. Up. I almost asked, but I was like, no, I bet he left that out. Well, he had yeah. two swords on the cover. So I'm guessing it's Leonardo. No, because, because he carries all of the weapons. Oh, so, okay. Oh, <laughs> and you, you find out at the end of the first issue, but. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna I'm going to mix these last two topics: video games and Ninja Turtles. Guys, do you know about this Ninja Turtles Cowabunga collection coming out? Do what? I? I have it pre-ordered. <laughs> Shit, do you really? Yeah, I do. There's Tim. You're good. There's, there's two games that are coming out. There's the Cowabunga collection uh-huh. that's got all of the, like the the NES and the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis games on it. Can Can I just read this off real fast? Yeah, go for it. So, yeah, the NES Ninja Turtles, the arcade Ninja Turtles, uh, Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Okay, some of these I don't know. Turtles in Time. Love that, that one. Was the, that was the one for Super Nintendo. Yeah, it was. Uh, Turtles 2, Back from the Sewers, Game Boy. Uh, Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Hey, why don't you share your screen so we can all see it? Because it's just a Wikipedia article. Oh, and okay, fine. You know what? That's that's a really good idea. How, how about you produce the show, Josh? <laughs> well, so fire, Josh fire does a lot better job. There you go. There, read that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> there, now I can. <laughs> anyway, uh, if let's see, it has online multiplayer, right, Jordan? Yeah, it does. Oh, sweet. It even has Hyperstone Heist on it. That's the one I'm really jazzed about. Because I was the one for the Sega Genesis. That's that the one that I had. That was super fun, too. So, fun, funny story. Uh, I got that game before I had a Sega Genesis. Because <laughs> for Christmas one year, I asked my dad for a Sega Genesis. And on Christmas Eve, we would always go to his mom's house, my grandmother's house, for uh, for Christmas Eve. And she gave me that that night. And I, was, I opened it. I'm like but I don't have a Sega Genesis. And she goes, maybe Santa will bring you one tomorrow. And I got a Sega Genesis the next day, guys. Whoa, Santa's How awesome. fucking convenient. <laughs> <laughs> like no, but you... Hyperstone Heist was, was the fucking shit on, on that system. I, I, don't, uh, I can't remember if I've played this one or not. I'm sure we did. Like if Tim's played it, I've played it. <laughs> you played I, it. Turtles in Time just really stood out to me. And that was like... Like as as a young Jake, Turtles in Time was top tier video game. This is the best game of all time. Man, I don't even remember that one. Couldn't get past I, I the remember, level. I remember playing the arcade games, but so <laughs> I don't know um, if you remember this, but in the not not quite the super early days of the PlayStation Three, um, maybe like a few years after it had come out, somebody apparently did an HD remaster of Turtles in Time what? and released it on the on the uh, PlayStation Store. Mm-hmm. And by the time I got my PlayStation 3 and I wanted to go and buy it, they had pulled it off the store. Like, I guess either that company lost the rights to it or there was a lawsuit. But there were like two or three arcade games that were on the, the PlayStation Store that I was going to buy. And the other one was the X-Men arcade game. And they got yanked before I was able to to go and purchase them. Well, I purchased the turtle one when it, when that happened, and it was okay. Cool. So theoretically, if you still have that PlayStation Three, like you still have access to it. Yeah, really, and I don't. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! Damn it! Yeah, I'm looking at <laughs> pictures here. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull one up. This is this is so it's called Turtles in Time Reshelled. Yep. Hmm. This whole time, this whole and it was time. fantastic. I've been I've been doing my best to not. Yeah, there it is. I've been doing my best to not go down the Ninja Turtle action figure hole 
But man, like San Diego Comic Con was a couple weeks ago, and the we were there. We were there, but oh. the uh, the NECA, the toy company that has the rights to make a lot of the uh, Ninja Turtle stuff, showed a whole bunch of the cool stuff that they're coming out with. They're doing a last Ronin figure, but then they're doing uh, comic book Ninja Turtles. They're doing the Mirage versions of the comic book Ninja Turtles, where they're all like jacked up and they all have the red headbands. Nice. Oh god, it looks so fucking badass! I'm like, <laughs> you're gonna I, go broke. I'm like, there's, I got, I gotta get those. Those look cool. They're doing a really cool comic book Slash, as well. I don't know if you remember Slash from the cartoon. Oh, Dewey, <laughs> top don't. hat, long hair, plays a guitar. Uh, wrong Slash. Is it? It is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Hey, speaking of rock music, Josh, where are you hey, going, going Where Where's my camera? It's over here. <laughs> over here. Make you, you guys are over here. Disaster Hour. We are now a studio <laughs> four camera show. Yeah. Uh, um, camera one, camera two. So, okay, to start out, I signed up for a thing called Vet Ticks. If any of our listeners are veterans of the United States military or first responders, check it out. Um, you enter a lottery for basically donated tickets to, to concert shows, uh, comedy clubs, a lot of different things. Orgies. Probably not. Don't, then I have no interest. Continue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so I got, uh, four tickets to Red Hot Chili Peppers for 15 bucks for all four of them. <laughs> and I'm taking Vanessa and the kids to the Red Hot Chili Peppers on uh, on Wednesday. Do That's the Red awesome. Hot Chili Peppers know about this? <laughs> like, hey, yeah. there's the guy that only paid fifteen dollars. Get him! <laughs> I'm I'm jealous because the Strokes are opening the show. Yeah, it's... wait a yeah, minute. I, I what? Red Hot Chili Peppers? Did... Don't they have that guy from Star Wars in the band? <laughs> Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the other guy from Star Wars. Kumail Nanjiani? No, the other other guy from Star Wars. Clee? Yeah, it's Mad, the one. Mads Mickelson? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah. no, but we'll we'll put pl- Will Farrell plays dr- drums for him. Yeah, he does, and he is really good at drums. Who knew? Funny guy, <laughs> good at drums, plays for the chili peppers. It's fantastic. <clears throat> Yeah, but uh, no, I, I'm fucking stoked. Like, I, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I looked up their Vegas set list. Uh, you know, I mean, there's no guarantee that they're going to play the same set list. But um, the song they're going to open with uh, was the song I assumed they would open with. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fucking excited. Wait, what's, what's the song? Hey, um, it's, um, can't stop. I feel like they should end with that one. Just because it's called But, but can't then stop. it would just, then it would just go on forever. Yeah, it's a song that never ends. And you guys would just <laughs> grow old and die in that audience. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I, I gotta, gotta say, it, you know, it's like, I don't know, man. It, it's, it's kind of. Like when we went to see Zach Brown, I gotta admit, I was drunk before I even got out of the car. <laughs> good, good job. We, we, no, not a good job. It, oh, it, uh, bad, bad it, job. Yeah, yeah. So shame on you. It, Straight you to know, jail. Just, oh wait, it, being no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> but no, uh, um, looking forward to just you know, I mean. Hanging out with the family without, uh, you know, my side bitch alcohol. Oh, <laughs> like without the dog for once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the dog's dead. Thanks, asshole. Oh, oh yeah, it was. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, she got mauled to death, remember? Yeah. By a uh, bear? No, by another dog. Oh. Oh. But looks like a bear. We can't no, joke about like it. A, no, we need it. it so... It, it, <laughs> Looks like a lab pit bull mix. Yeah, those labs are vicious. Hey, uh, the thing about the chili peppers, like I really like them, 
but I just wish they would do one song about California. That's all I ask. Just one? Just one. <laughs> ha, I, I, I got to tell you something, buddy. <laughs> There's at least you know, just one. There is a band out there that would I would freaking love to see. Who? Wind Rose. What? Jordan? Have you heard of Wind, I, I, Wind Rose? Wind Rose. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, my God. They're amazing. Oh, okay. Here we go. T- Tim, give me a song. I, I, I can't see the screen. I'd have to pick. Just name one. I, fine. It, 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 Tim, Tim's stumbling because he made up a band name. And it's no, band they're name. real. No, no, they're legit. Oh, geez. <laughs> like, I feel like Josh would listen to this band. Fellows of the Hammer. Yeah, what? I feel like, yeah, this is a, this looks like a Josh band. No, they're they're not. They're so I have <laughs> VR and I play this game called Ragnarok and a lot of their songs are on there and I drum. Oh yeah, yeah, I I played that with you, remember? Yeah, you did. So did I. Game. It was fun. Hey, Jordan, you need to go to Tim's house and play Ragnarok. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah, because it, it's if I leave now, I can be there by Thursday. <laughs> yeah. It's not on <laughs> PlayStation VR, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that'll be before the uh, the episode drops, Jordan. Okay, here we go. This one gets banned in Germany again. <laughs> Just wait. It gets going. It gets going so hard. D- does it? Just wait. I like the artwork. There's an axe. Well, yeah, there, there, there is an axe. They sing all these like dwarf and like dragon songs, Viking stuff. There's a pig. I'm gonna turn it down until it gets going. Well, so you can narrate what's going on, Tim. Fellows of the Hammer. So so far. Oh Oh. yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Too (laughs) hot. Hear those drums? Oh man, the guy goes nuts. And he's Ow. Trying to sing <laughs> in the battle against vampires. Wait. <laughs> it's really only right. fun when you're playing Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they need to work on their lyrics a little bit. <laughs> No, look, if you can make a band like that where you're just singing about forging hammers, buddy, go ahead. Go right on ahead. <laughs> this, I have no problem with this. How do you forge a hammer? Just like sign it weird? Yeah, well, you got to get your other hammer that you forged. And yeah. then bing, bing, bing. But before you get that hammer, you got to make your first hammer. Which is, it's not going to be good. Is a forged hammer like fake? It's your forehead. <laughs> And that kind of forged. <laughs> They're just beating oh. it with rocks, shattering everything. <laughs> oh, That's literally oh, how it started. I, I, guys, I, I do have a public service announcement. No, thank Pork you. Chop sandwiches? Ooh. Close. Close. Really close. Um, if you're on vacation somewhere that have bison, don't try to pet the bison. They will fuck you up. Oh, you know what? We have... Oh, Cassie, Cassie, are you still here in the comments? Probably not. She Cassie is like though. leading the charge of people not petting bison. <laughs> so I yeah, petted a bison. Pet bison. I'm sorry, what, Tim? <laughs> was, it, was, was it a bison or a nice It was a nice one. That was, we, were at, we were camping <laughs> in Oregon, and by our campground, there's a, there's a ranch or whatever, and they have bison in the ranch. And they were by the road, and I pulled over, and I was just like, I'm going to check these guys out. They're not as big. Wait. They're not as big as the Yellowstone bison, but they're still bison. And I was feeding them grass. Like through a fence. Were, were, were you in there with them or were you No, I was in I was the on fence. the other side of the fence. Oh, oh okay. Well, that's that's a little different. Don't get in there with them. <laughs> no. Do not saddle them. I gotta tell you them. though, I love watching those videos of people like getting close to them in Yellowstone and then just getting thrown into a tree or die. <laughs> Or, 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 like, or, or like, I just feel like a bison will take your lunch money, 
stab you to death and then curb stomp you after it stabbed you to death. And then go buy it's a sandwich gonna, with that lunch money. How yeah, about, it's just going to fuck up your, your day. How about just not pet any animal in the wild? <laughs> Especially a Yellowstone. Well, you know what? I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Hold on. What animal did he just take away from you, Josh? Bears and mountain lions. No, you can definitely pet those. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to get... I want to get a uh, an emotional support mountain lion really bad. What? <laughs> no, Jordan, do not agree with this. Come I on, support this. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a really good idea. Yeah, I'm into it. Think about how badass an emotional support mountain lion would be. Right? <laughs> you guys aren't looking at the bigger picture. Wear the vest that says caution, do not pet, working animal. <laughs> What's the bigger picture? There's a child's shoe in his mouth. I, I don't like your tone, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, oh, can I pet your mountain lion? No, he's working. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking mountain lion. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, lady, get your stupid kid away from my mountain lion before my mountain lion needs it. My mountain lion is on the clock working. Come on. And don't disturb him because later on he has to have a clear mind. He has to go through his 401k and all that. <laughs> Check out his retirement benefits. Suddenly this mountain lion is a professional. <laughs> so, no, I mean, all mountain lions are professionals. They, they're just professional mountain well, lions. Except for that one in Colorado that was choked to death by a human. That one wasn't very good at his job. <laughs> 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 well, I'm not wrong. <laughs> but imagine being that guy, though. <laughs> fucking leg locking a mountain lion around the throat until it fucking stops kicking. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. You know well, what? Yeah. That guy peaked. <laughs> what do you do from there? <laughs> You go to the moon, Jake. <laughs> That's how Neil Armstrong is... did it. <laughs> Killed a mountain lion, went to the moon. <laughs> He's unbeatable. In that order. Yeah. And then he died at Alamo. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. When you go to the moon, you need to have someone trained to kill moon mountain lions. They're everywhere. Have you seen the video? Why do you think we haven't been back? (laughs) In a long time. I mean, we we went back a few times, but those mountain lions could not be curbed. Well, why do you think we were shooting rockets into the moon? It wasn't to find water on the moon. It's to kill the mountain lion herd. (laughs) Heard of what? Mountain lions. Yeah, I've heard of mountain lions. We've been talking about them for the last two minutes. Huh. (laughs) Womp, 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 womp. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm too angry to do a sad trombone noise. <laughs> Why are you womp, angry? Womp. It was that joke. Oh yeah, no, that you have every right to be angry about that joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Neil Armstrong, true American hero. <laughs> <laughs> Killed him a bear when he was only three. <laughs> There's a mountain lion. <laughs> well, you gotta start small with bears. Did you even watch Prey? It was a cub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't make fun of Buzz Aldrin. He'll he'll come punch you in the fucking face. That, but that one's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one's true. <laughs> also, the guy Wasn't that got- some guy that was like questioning him about like how he like basically said he didn't really go to the moon, and he just turned yeah. around and decked the dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I fucking love that clip. <laughs> like when I'm feeling really sad, I watch that clip and I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody ever asked me if I didn't, if, if you know, you didn't go to the moon, I'm just going to turn around and punch him too. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to the moon. For Buzz Aldrin. It's good enough I can for me. Punch him. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know where I've been. 
I was on the moon with Steve. With Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I was I dead was at the time. Dead at the time. <laughs> oh, damn it, that was good. I'm, fi- I'm finding the clip of Buzz Aldrin punching the guy because I feel like we've <laughs> talked about it. Now we have to show it. And if you're listening on oh, the yeah. podcast, don't. <laughs> oh good this video like has it on repeat okay yes here we go so uh, audio listeners it's gonna sound like the cd is skipping but really we're just enjoying the shit out of a video of watching a guy get punched by buzz aldrin here we go ready oh let me let me maximize this yeah <laughs> here we go Apparently there's no sound on this and part. And a thief. And a yeah. thief. And a thief. Bam. And a thief. No. And a thief. And a thief. And a that thief. is a mean right hook. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Buzz Aldrin. He's been that, on the moon. <laughs> that poor mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other thing. The dude that got punched by Buzz Aldrin, that was the moment he peaked. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's great about that? What? He had to apologize to Buzz Aldrin for making him punch him. He really did. <laughs> like, legally, had to apologize. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a national working. treasure, so. Yeah, and he also didn't say no thank you, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know about that loophole, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Got no, right hooked. You. Why don't you go shake down 7-Eleven for a day-old wiener? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Where were we going with that? Oh yeah, mountain lions. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I get I get distracted by this screen over here. It's got grilled cheese sandwiches on it. Okay, guys, real quick before we wrap up the show, since Josh brought it up, I need to know what kind of cheese are you putting in your grilled cheese sandwich? Uh, lately, I've been doing American. And the uh, Costco uh, Mexican cheese blend. Like together? Yeah. Okay, Tim, you. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordan, what, what cheese are you putting in your grilled cheese sandwiches? Uh, Munster. Really? Mm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. I like pepper jack. No, it's it's really uh, melty. You get a good cheese pull out of it. Yeah, yeah, you need, and see, that's why I mix the uh, the Mexican blend with the American cheese because they blend together and you get shit. Yeah, dude, that the, sounds the nice. Mexican blend gets a good one. It Am sounds I tasty. Being, I'm over here using cheddar like a sucker. Tim, get back here. Well, so, dude, have you dude, ever dude. done? Have you ever done the inside out uh, cheese sandwich, grilled cheese sandwich? No. Okay, this is what you do. You ready? So, we're ending the show on. I'm excited. <laughs> you, you take a rubber glove. <laughs> Can of Pringles, rubber band, two sponges, bam! Inside out. <laughs> no, Jordan, what? <laughs> no, you 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 butter your pan. You put it. You put a piece of bread on there. You put your sliced cheese on top of that, and then you put a piece of buttered toast or not or buttered bread on top of that, and you you put it on low. You don't want to put it on medium. Put it on low, and you let it melt a little bit. Now, what you do is before you flip it, you take some shredded cheese. And you sprinkle the shredded cheese on the top of the buttered uh, bread. And then you wait till it's a little melted, not all the way. And then you flip it. And then when you flip it, you're going to take uh, some some shredded cheese and you're going to sprinkle it on the side that's already toasted or grilled. And you're going to let that cook on low for a little bit. And you're going to flip it one more time just to solidify some of the cheese that uh, has already melted. So that way you'll have a crusty cheese uh, outside and a gooey cheese inside. Mm-hmm. Sir, you just blew my mind. I got to be honest. I got a boner right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> That's too late. Where's my Pringles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And that is the perfect moment to end the show. And hey, guys. I'm actually going to end it on this announcement because next episode, two weeks from now, I'm super excited about this. We will be playing. You know, you know what I was super excited to talk about? What? Cabana Bay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's all right. I guess I'll just have to wait. 
totally forgot. You, you did Ronan instead. That wasn't even on the list. It was on the list. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. You held Ronan up, but you didn't hold up Cabana Bay. And you, <laughs> you know what wasn't on the list was Mountain Lions for 30 minutes. <laughs> Jordan, you're going to Cabana Bay, right? For now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. We, this is going to be our, our Matt Damon. <laughs> Tune in next time to hear about Jordan's Cabana Bay. Wait, what are we doing next? Or not. Time? Or not. We'll see. Uh, next week, we're, we're going to play Dungeons and Dragons in a normal day at Epcot. Oh, shit. Like, you guys are going to be playing. I'm going to be DMing. And we're going to see uh, if you survive. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm your Huckleberry. Mary. <laughs> So, also, I'm going to need you three to make character sheets of yourselves. No oh, magic, no but if you get, like, fighting skills, and if you can, like... What is Tim doing? Oh. Oh, Amity Island. That's a good shirt. Jordan, look. You'll you'll appreciate this. That is pretty good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Anyway, so tune in. Two weeks from now, it's going to be super exciting. And other than that, guys, this is the end of the show. So I, I, I'm Jake here to tell you that only you can prevent Forrest Whitaker. Psst.